Here we are shooting the Taurus SS uh, 605, shooting some 38 special through it. You live. Shoot some 38 plus P now. Tell much difference. Uh, yeah. They take a lot more of a punch. We're shooting about eight yards. That was 38 plus P. Difference. Tell a big difference. I could, yeah. It's a lot louder. Yeah, that was blowing them. Did you see them moving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you ought to shoot three. All right, I'm a filming here now. We're going to shoot a regular 38, a 38 plus P, and then a 357 Magnum through the Taurus 605, just so you can see the difference in these rounds. All on you, Matt. There's your 38 special. There's your 38 plus P. Major yeah, difference, big I difference, think. Man. <clears throat> big difference. Okay. We shoot the Taurus uh, 605 here, 38 special. I've got one plus P in here. We'll try to zero in about eight yards. Got the Tara 605 here, 130 grain, just regular 38 special ammo. Same like him. Hello guys, <clears throat> excuse me, anytime you shoot your firearm, you certainly need to clean it. We have shot this uh, Tara 605 quite a bit the last two nights. Um, I didn't do a round count, but we put, we put probably close to 100 rounds through this. Um, and yeah, this is a stainless steel firearm. And, you know, you hear people say that you can get by without cleaning these. But uh, I'm going to clean this. And you'll see the difference when I get done with it. It has to make the gun last and perform better. I just, I just totally believe that. But now you guys, you know, do what you want. Can't tell you guys what to do. It's just simply my advice. If you're going to use them, clean them and keep them clean, guys. It's not a bad job. I mean, just look at that crud in there. We've shot, uh, as you saw from our shooting, we've shot 38 Special, 38 Plus P. Um, and we shot a few 357, um, only like six. Because 357 in a small gun like this is just, a it's just flat out a handful. I don't know, uh, they make the little air weights and people carry 357 in those. Uh, there, there are more men than I am. I can't shoot them. I mean, I can. I don't enjoy it. I do not enjoy shooting them. Look at, look at the gunk right here. Now, this was clean before we started. Well, pretty much. I mean, they'll get a little dirt on them carrying them in your holster. But yeah, 
Time to clean, guys. Got to keep your firearm clean. All right, here we go, guys. Back with the old uh, Tara 605. Just done a quick cleaning with this thing. And it's ready to go back into the holster. It's built up some pretty good residue on this, on this little firearm. This is what I used to clean with. This is great stuff. I really like this. Uh, it cleans um, as well as protects. What well, it says on it, the all-in-one format at the service your firearm. Cleaner, lubricant, preservative. So I use that pretty often. Um, I also use rims and oil. I made a little cleaner table. Had that for a while. But yeah, this is going back to the holster. These have these lock on them. That's just the craziest thing ever. I don't like that, but that's what it comes with. Tar 605. I really like this, guys. This is, this is, a. Uh, have actually gone back to carrying it. I've really just gone back to carrying it. It just, just fits my hand good. It's easy to carry. Uh, one problem is I haven't found a holster. Um, I've got two holsters I bought specifically for this. Neither of them are in any way quick draw holsters. I, I just don't know what the... In the winter, I'll carry this in my coat pocket. Wear a big coat and carry it in the coat pocket. Uh, but this is the second holster I bought. This is very comfortable. Just totally comfortable on your side. It carries better than the big leather holster I've got. Uh, but the leather holster is actually fairly comfortable as well. Uh, it's just the, the pistol rides very high up on your waist, uh, up on your side, actually, with the leather holster I've got. So I've got this one. It's a little more comfortable to carry. And I can get it out of this. I can draw the pistol out of this quicker than I can with the leather holster. And this was only like 10, uh, let's see, 15 bucks, I think. So, I went ahead and got it. But yeah, Tar 605, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Can't go wrong with one, I don't think. It's just a just an outstanding, reliable little revolver. I, I personally would recommend 38 Special. Um, but if you feel like you need more powerful, if you need a more powerful round than that, there is every kind of option in the world. This is shoot them all. This is a, let's see. This is the full blown 357 Magnum. So, it's one thing, one reason I like it, the 357. You can shoot all, you know, you can shoot 38, 38 plus P. Whereas if you get one that's rated for 38 plus P, then you can't shoot 30, uh, 357. Uh, but like I just, just said, I won't be shooting 357 through this anyway. I don't think, um, now having said that, here's what I normally carry in this. I can't have a video without touching on over penetration. These are 38 plus P. These are 38 plus P. Um, I have carried some 38 special in it. These being hollow point, I feel like they're pretty adequate. But now, a friend of mine gave me these because they no longer have a 357. And I tried some of them. This seems to be a very, just an outstanding round. And of course, the 357 certainly got a little more. Oh, there might be a situation where you need a little more power. I, you know, I don't know. It's just, a, you really got to do a lot of research when you're trying to make your, not only your choice of weapon, but then you got to start the choice of ammo. You've got to choose, you've got to start the choice of ammo. 357. It's got a lot more juice there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Tune in again for more from the mighty Gator Unleashed. Peace out, guys.